Okay, so I'm going to try to explain uh, star trails again on the flat earth because people want to say things like, well, why do we see different constellations in the south and the north if there's only a northern star field? Well, from this position, it looks like a northern star field. It looks like it's just over the north and that's it. Um, but that's not the case. And if you look up, you can see how I'm projecting it in. So I'm just projecting it onto the ceiling and then the dome is showing it. And you can see the projector back there between the telescopes. So we have this super reflective ceiling above us, a super fluid layer and a dome. The dome is most likely crystalline of some sort. Um, the super fluid ceiling acts like a two-way mirror and that's what gives us this star trail phenomenon of the Arctic motion and the anti-Arctic motion of the luminaries. So again, you see projecting it into this, the ceiling here um, and the projectors down there. But when I come up from above and look down, you can clearly see that that same star field covers the entire realm. So it's not just a northern star field. And what you're seeing is at the equator, you get this converging and diverging zone of arc and anti-arc on either side of the equator. And that's caused by the super reflective mirror type dome and superfluid ceiling that is also acting as a two-way mirror. So it's because of that that we have the northern and southern star trails and we have different stars in the north and in the south. However, we do see the same constellations in the north and south at times, depending on the time of year, like Orion, for example. So you're seeing clearly the star field covers the entire realm. It's projected in from the ceiling and come back and you look at it from here, zoom back in, and you see it looks like a single star field. Rotating one direction. The interesting thing is when you come in, you get that, that anti-rotation effect. So you see how it looks like it's rotating opposite in the south as it is in the north. When you come in close, you get that anti-rotation. But you saw it's one star field stretched across the entire realm, which also fits scripture because it says he stretches the north out over the empty places. Um, and then the super reflective mirror dome and mirror, mirror sky is also in scripture where he talks about how it's like a cast metal mirror or a bronze mirror that reflects heat or a molten looking glass. All of that would do this. All of those things, all of those descriptions cause this phenomenon. So when we test what the scriptures say about our sky, we actually see that the phenomenon that we observe in real life fit that modeling. You can say it doesn't, but I'm showing you that it does. The interesting thing is when you come up here and you see that rotation and anti-rotation, see how it follows no matter where you go? That that's following is the southern part of the sky. So it is an apparent thing caused by the super reflective sky, the mirror sky. The same thing goes for the 24 hour sun. So you can clearly see, looks like one star field rotating in the dome. It's actually pretty simple. It's not that complicated, not that difficult, but it is what's causing the phenomenon. And if you're far enough south at the right time of year, you're gonna see 
the sun, and even the moon at certain times um, for 24 hours. It's just the way the dome manipulates the light.